Good morning from Baguio. Last day in Baguio and we've got a bit of a special video today because I am going on Philippines newest bus. It's not first class, it is a royal class bus. It costs 1,500 peso. So I'm just here now in Baguio Victory Line bus terminal. Upstairs is where you get the ticket redemption for the booking online. And as you can see, super nice bus terminal decorated very nice loads of food and coffee to choose from before we go on the bus so just gonna wait here for about 30 minutes until I can get on this new bus and we will see what it's like so I come on the first class bus and it was a thousand peso so this one is 500 peso more from the pictures online it looks way better so we we shall see Let's go. Now I'm downstairs in the bus terminal and the Royal Class bus has arrived and it's looking pretty nice. So this is where I'm going to Cuba. This is how the bus looks, a Volvo bus. First look at this uh, newest bus in the Philippines, the Royal Class. So I'm in C4, look at it. You have some nice leather, oh, reclining seats. I think it's probably for Filipino size, I will see when I lie down. But it is looking well nice. Wow. I don't want to be in the middle, there's a middle section. It's basically one, 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 upper and lower. I think I prefer to be on lower than upper. Oh, the corridors are very tight. I found my seat. I'll see if I fit in. There's some leg room down there. It goes like underneath here. Got a cup holder. This. So, oh, we have blankets too. Okay, thank you. The staff just bought us around the blue blanket to keep us warm. Nice. It seems like they have some Wi-Fi or something you can connect to the network. It's got a room light. Let's see. Okay. That's there. We've got the aircon that's here. I'm going to switch it off because it's freezing. Yeah. Nice little bus. Now I have to get up in my seat. in the seat up on the higher one and yeah there's quite a lot of room like I'm 5'11 right so I can put my feet out it's not like super uncomfortable you can see like my knees are up there a bit and this is the situation from here and actually guys I'll just show you opposite you can recline the seat back to there so when the bus takes off I'll recline the seat and see how flat I am lying so it's pretty good. The staff's just bought around one of these again. I guess it's the same pastry as last time. Thank you. And some water too. So I'm guessing this is kind of like similar to the one we got on the first class bus. So you get a snack too. Wait, let me see. You can shut the curtain like that for your privacy. You have the room light here. The room light doesn't give a... It doesn't give too much light, but we'll see when we take off because all the lights will probably go off even though it's light outside. Um, it's the same, it's like a four to five hour bus ride. It's uh, way more relaxing than the first class one to come on, obviously. And only 500 pesos or more, so not bad value. Look, so when you pull back the thing, look, there's a Because I haven't had any breakfast, I'm gonna check out what this thing is they bought around. Yeah, pretty much the same. Like, um, I don't know, do they call them empanadas? But some pastry with, filled with meat and veggies. They're really nice, actually. Mm, I really do like them. as well guys because it's for the new iPhone chargers and the USB ones also I don't know what this one's called but it uh, fits both charges 
charges, so that's good. At least you have a place to charge your phone and everything. For me, this is going to be super relaxing. Um, I don't need the toilet yet, but when the bus takes off, I'll go and give you a toilet tour because, of course, people are always interested to see the toilet. But I'm happy here. I'm like nice and private in my own little section, you know? Okay, before this bus fills up, I guess this is where the staff stay. There's a nice big section at the back for the staff. And of course, the toilet is at the back of the bus, so I'll give you a quick look. That's how it's looking. Clean, small toilet. It's got the tissue a little bit in toilet. Bidet, sink. Yeah, that's pretty much the toilet. So not bad. At least it's nice and clean, but like I said, this bus is like a brand new, brand new Royal Class bus here in the Philippines. So maybe I'm one of the first people to video it, who knows? Okay guys, it's very empty this bus, like we off already and look, literally the whole middle section is empty, 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 empty. There's only about... There's only about six to eight people on the whole bus. So I'm closing the curtain now. I'm gonna recline my chair. Boom, like that. Oh, look at that, loving it. And we're off, we're leaving Baguio. So the nice thing is I'm gonna turn over like this and just look out the window and enjoy the view. Pretty incredible for 1,500 peso. to Baguio, it was a nice uh, trip here, I had a really good couple of days here, I would definitely recommend coming, I wouldn't really come for much longer than two to three days, because uh, once you have a motorbike you can kind of get around everywhere by yourself pretty easy, the city itself is very like crowded like most uh, cities in the Philippines, actually like because I've been staying in Makati in Manila you know I was expecting Baguio to be a bit more like quiet but actually I found Baguio to be more busy which was uh, surprising for me but definitely get a motorbike and go into the mountains for sure it's worth it and why not check out the new royal class bus and travel in style travel in luxury they will call me King Tom from now on traveling like this bus ride back to Manila you can kind of see why it's so cold here in Baguio because we kind of just driving down a windy road now for the next hour basically back down the mountain so Baguio is obviously up pretty high that's why they get like a lot cooler weather it's known as the coldest city in the Philippines for that reason you can kind of see there look Actually when on the way up here when we were driving uh, up the mountain my ears did pop so the change of altitude obviously it's so beautiful though to check out all the like houses in the mountains like these little local houses in Manila. I see buildings everywhere so this bus arrives at Cubao bus terminal so yeah I think I've got about another 15 minutes until I'm there. Pretty much this bus took like four, four and a half, four to four and a half hours so that's not too bad really um, especially when you kind of lay out flat it makes it like way more enjoyable so yeah we're back in Manila. Okay, and just like that, we are back in Manila. That's the bus right there behind me. That's how it's looking. Pretty 
much the same as all the other buses. Oh, back in the bus terminal, I left from as well. So now that's pretty much it from the bus journey. The Royal class bus from Baguio back to Manila. It goes from Manila to Baguio as well. So yeah, see you on the next video somewhere in Manila. Ciao.